Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little Mac application review for iStat Menus. Now this isn't currently in the Mac App Store as far as I know. I got it through the developer's website and the developer is Bajango, I think that's how you pronounce it. B-J-A-N-G-O, I believe. And uh, yeah, so it's a pretty cool application. It allows you to monitor a lot of what goes on on your Mac and I like to know what's going on on my Mac, so yeah. Of course, there's uh, third other third-party applications that can do this, uh, just little tidbits of these things, but uh, this thing does everything in one. So you got CPU, you can check your usage on, which I have right here, and it tells you everything right here. Memory you got, you can uh, change these. Of course, you can just drag these uh, right up into here. So if I want this to be up there, I just do that, and now that's the, I got a little pie chart, and I can take that one down if I don't want it. Uh, so yeah, it's very nice to and very easy to use. You update it however often you want. Disk usage, so uh, you can check your disk usage right here. It says disks tells you what disk you have, how much is used, how much is free, which is very nice. Of course, you can drag these up as well and see 55 percent, blah blah, and you can see which ones are active, inactive, general, and drop down menu which what you want to show in that. And then uh, you got disk activity, which is right here, and it shows you I've got a lot of uh, writing, I believe that's what that color is right now, so obviously I'm recording a video. So yes, there's that. And then network, which is pretty cool. I'm going to blur out my uh, IP address, but uh, yeah, so you got uh, location, is automatic, public IP, and then it has some Wi-Fi information, it tells you the in and out of the, with the bandwidth, and then... Yeah, so got some other things, and then you can quickly jump into network utility, network preferences, or edit the preferences uh, within the application. Next up, you have sensors, so you can see right here temperature and whatever it is. So I've got it set right here. I've got you can set your fan control. So I've got it set right now for default. I can do super fast. You might be able to hear it. I edited these, by the way, and added these. It comes with, I believe, default and medium, so you can edit those to your liking and change it. Uh, it's kind of like SMC fan control, but uh, yeah, so there's that. It also gives you all of this information right here, like battery temperatures and all kinds of other temperatures, so it's very, very useful for tracking your temperatures because I always like to know what temperature my uh, stuff's at so that I don't overheat it or anything. So then I got date and time right here. I, can, I move these around. You can hold command and uh, move these as you like. So I've got the time over here. I got rid of the time that is like on max, you know, the little clock. Got rid of that and put left this one up because I like the drop down menu. As you can see, you've got a calendar here. So very useful, easy. Just click on it. You got a calendar. You've also got moon phases. You've got other times you can set in here. So if you want to check real quick. Very useful. Edit preferences, open iCal, open date and time. Of course, quick little menus here. You can edit all of this colors, shadows, everything. Everything is very easy to customize. So you can even flash time separators. And then you've got battery, pretty basic. It's not that hard to understand. Of course, drag and drop. You can see it changes colors depending on how much you have. You can add how much time, like put it, I've got an hour and five minutes, but I'm charging it, so I'm fine. So, yeah, that's very nice as well. You can change the menu bar icon, whatever you want it to be at like 20%, which is default. First warning at 10%, you can change that if you want. So, that's very useful. Now, combine, this is, uh, I haven't used this yet, but I believe you can just combine and have whatever you want in a customized way. So, you can put CPU uh, and change your drop down items and stuff. So, you can just drag these up. I'm not going to use that because I stall. I like it like this. And the CPU thing here, it can be, it's quite large, as you can see, it takes up a lot of space. So if you ever find that some of these you just don't use, you can just turn it off, and there you go. It's completely off and not running up there. You can see it freed up all that menu bar space, less clutter. But if you're just doing general tasks, and you don't really care what it looks like up there, and you just want to know exactly what's going on, you can just click that and see all the different stuff. So you can see what you're graphics processor card thing is using whatever uh, you can see your user so right now it's mostly idle because I'm not doing that much just recording 
and uh, overall I found this application very useful. It is $16 right now, I believe. I did get a promo code from the developer free for review, so I want to thank them for that. I also purchased, they have an iPhone app, which I will hopefully have a review on once they push out a newer update, because right now it doesn't work extremely well with the new iPhones, as far as I know. It doesn't work so well on mine with the battery reading, but everything else on it works fine. It's pretty nice. You might want to check it out. It's called uh, iStat, I believe. So that's pretty much it for this video. I definitely recommend this. Of course, you can change skin, skin color. You can use black uh, icons, as you can see. It looks a little bit you know, more uniform with the, everything at the top. So yeah, there's a lot of custom customization for this. Uh, I did get an update today, so it is being updated fairly often as far as I know. I don't know when the last one before the one today was, but uh, I did get an update today. And yeah, overall I've been finding this very useful. Check it out, link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.